Well, you got to check this out. Blown away on Mount Washington. This week's windstorm was wicked on the northeast's highest peak. Of course, Mount Washington has seen its fair share of extreme weather. Yeah, and just yesterday, the wind there gusted to an incredible 147 miles an hour. WBZ Chief Meteorologist Eric Fisher is with us. And Eric, yeah, there have been stronger gusts, but that is an extreme wind speed. It's a lot of winds. Yeah, <laughs> usually when you're sustained around 100, that's the point where most people have a lot of difficulty staying upright there on the observation deck. 147 miles per hour, pretty powerful. Kind of visualize it. It's enough to throw a heavy car or flip a train or rip the bark off. Off of trees. And you can take a look at this video here taken atop Mount Washington yesterday at the peak of the windstorm. You can see the wind so strong it's pushing that person across. It's a little bit dicey up there. You could potentially be blown off the mountain. Across the ice covered ground, uh, very slick, making it hard for people to stand and walk. Now, we spoke with a weather observer there who described what it was like to ride out the storm both inside and outside. More of an unusual winter day. Winds up here kind of get around 40 to 50 miles per hour on average. Uh, on a typical winter day up here, uh, we get around 100 mile per 100 mile per hour wind gusts every two to three days up here. But when you go outside and you walk out the door to go into the tower and walk up, and all you can hear is wind, that's not very typical. Uh, the wind was howling pretty pretty loudly yesterday. Pretty interesting when you're going to sleep and you're just hearing whistling all around you, and you feel the windows like shaking right next to you and then you go to the bathroom and you see the toilet and all the water's gurgling around because of the pressure differences due to the extreme winds. And it's a pretty crazy environment. You can tell when it's extreme outside because of the way the inside is acting. It's a pretty special place up there for sure. And uh, they get very different weather, which is why they always warn hikers. You know, a lot of people will go up for a winter hike or you're skiing Tuckerman's over the next few weeks. Weather can change very dramatically from surface down at the base of the auto road to up on top. You got to be a special breed to want to be there. You can actually <laughs> see the smile on his face is oh, like, yeah. it was awesome. Right. I mean, you right. know, they deal with extreme weather there or more extreme than what we see on a regular basis. Sure. But the uh, gurgling toilet, I don't think we've ever <laughs> heard about before. It has to be very strong winds. I'm actually right. going to go up and live up there next weekend. Oh. And I'll have a couple of reports. Yeah, I'm teaching a weather kind of uh, class for all because of the gurgling oh, toilet. That, huh? that got you up there. We'll talk about why the toilets are gurgling, right. among many other things. I'm Interesting. Sure. Yeah. So it should be fun. We'll see.